Hello, welcome to my presentation on how to remove and insert people using the GIMP. Today I'm going to be using a photograph I found in the public domain of the president of an and another gentleman here. I'm going to be removing this man and um, insert someone else to make it look like he's standing next to the president. I'm going to be using the pass to which uh, click uh, when I click it click the mouse it puts places a little uh, dot uh, along the where I the border and this will uh, allow me to um, draw a line all the way around now I can uh, click and move uh, the line if I need to in other words make adjustments now um, I'm going to um, work my way around to uh, select this person and then remove him. I'm going to go ahead and um, um, take uh, go all work my way around and then I'll come back. Now here we are. We I'm about nearly finished. Um, selecting this person. Now I'm going to press my control key and click the first uh, my starting point, and now it's all connected together. Now I'm going to click select, and from path that selects the whole area all the way around this man. As you can see. I'm going to press my delete key and or you can uh, press, uh, click edit and then cut but now you see I just removed him now I'm going to, while I got my selection to uh, still selected I'm going to copy and save the hand the president hand so I can use it um, again on the next person. Now I need to um, save the hand. See, I created from the clipboard. Now I'm going to um, uh, work on the area, white area, that I have created when I removed the man. And what I'm going to do is copy some of the uh, texture outside the white area and paste it in. This is in case uh, when I insert the new man, uh, he doesn't completely cover up the white area. And um, in a little bit, I'll show you how to use a tool to uh, make it blend in better. I'm going to go ahead and work on this and then I'll come back. Now well I guess first of all I'll show you how to blend this in. Using the smudge tool there. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on, on uh, filling all this in. You don't have to fill all the white area, just around the borders. So um, when you do insert the new person, there ain't no white sticking out from behind him. Alright, I went ahead and um, selected the new man to go in. This personal friend of mine, he gave me permission to do this. I used the um, uh, pass to and then worked my way around him and then used uh, and then clicked on select from path and now I'm going to uh, copy there we go copy now I'm going uh, back over to where the president is as you can see I done worked on the 
tile area. Let me see. Go up here to layer. I got a he's a floating layer right now, so I'll use layer. Flip horizontally. Get him to lean the right way. Now I just need to slide him in it in. But if you feel notice they're not scaled, uh he's not scaled to the president, so I'm gonna use this scale tool. And um click this little corner. One of the things they use as a frame of reference is watch the head. And try to get the heads back pretty close to the same size. To um then you know you're pretty close to in the um getting it in scale uh, there we go now I need to um, this area right there see the foliage while it's uh, floating as while it's still a uh, floating layer I can erase material from the image that's in the floating layer without deleting any the um, image uh, below it as you see I can as I continue to delete this more of the president's um, coat shows up when you make a mistake like I just did accidentally erase part of it uh, material I didn't want to erase you can press control and the letter Z and it undo undoes the uh, last thing you done I went ahead and I got, uh, worked on um, all the other areas that had a little foliage and I removed it. Now I'm going to back to the president's hand where I had saved it earlier. I'm using fuzzy select two here. It, it grabs, selects everything. The checkerboard um, that you see represents a transparent background. Think of it as the hand being painted on a clear piece of glass and I'm removing the paint from the glass around the hand. Now I'm going to select the hand and copy it. Now I'm going to paste it in. Here we go. Paste it. Now if you'll notice the hand is at the wrong angle to be sitting on the shoulder properly so I'm going to use this uh, rotation tool now I'm going to use the select, uh, select tool to position it now the smudge tool to touch it up now you need to go around and touch up all the borders around uh, the man that you paste in because things have a tendency to look a little jagged or sharp and in real photographs uh, things that tend to be a little fuzzy on the edges if you ever zoom in notice how jagged this is well I'm going to um, touch this up too I'm going to continue to uh, now if you'll notice uh, the f face of the president is a lot lighter than the other uh, than my friend this is because um, it's not a true forgery I just took what I had to create this tutorial my friend was uh, his picture was taken um, when it was the evening and the present must have been taken at noon so when you are doing pictures uh, one of the things you have to take in consideration is when you take the picture I hope this has been a help to you thank you for watching